<laughs> All right, welcome back, y'all. Uh, so today, probably judging by the thumbnail and the title, uh, we are going to put a shelf up up here on this side of the camper shell. And I'm gonna run some hardware off of these. These are my roof rack bolts that are from the rails. Uh, that's a factory thing. And then I'm gonna use these screws, if you guys can see that. Yeah, I'm gonna mount to these uh, the same way my curtains are mounted. But why don't I hop out here and uh, grab some a piece of wood and uh, kind of explain it with what I have in the garage here. Um, I grabbed some bungee material here so we can put a little border on it. I've got some stain, so hopefully that we can make it somewhat match. And I've got these little L brackets. And these are kind of what I'm going to use here. And then among my mess here i've got a like a, there's a one by six and a one by four over there i think i'm going to try to get away with using that one by six uh if not i'll use some of this plywood that i have back here this has been on my list for a long time uh so long that it's not going to come off and uh, i've been kind of looking at some videos and i found one that uh I'm gonna kind of model this one after, and it is from uh, Off Grid Backcountry Adventures. I've been watching him for a while, and he has done something similar. So, I gotta grab that board. So this board is going to sit up here, I need to cut some length off of it, but it's going to sit up here level to the top of the window, just like that. Uh, it'll be tucked in quite a bit, bit more. Um, we'll be using these little brackets. These should work great. Uh, I'll attach that behind that screw there, and I'm going to have to bend that out to level it, but that will be fine. These are thin enough. I've got a few to run down that direction. And then on the, as far as these go, uh, if you have these, you can pop this little black cover off. Uh, try not to lose it back here. There we go. It's just a little pop on cover. And underneath that, you will have the bolts that come down and hold your rail through. Uh, so we're gonna take that off. And once again, we'll attach one of these under there. And uh, we'll have to make uh, some little wooden spreaders that come down. And they're all going to be kind of a different length because this roof does curve. The roof does curve a little bit. Uh, so they'll have to, I'll have to kind of measure those once I get this board maybe put up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll maybe put a trim piece around here to hold things in and we'll run some bungees through our spreader. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by putting a few of these brackets in the window here. We're gonna figure out how much we wanna cut off the end of this because it is, uh, this is a six foot board and it's just gonna be a little bit too tight. I might cut like six inches, 10 inches off of that. And then we'll go from there. And the curtains are secured on the very end top screws on each side. So I'm gonna move inside probably one notch. I'll do one here, same over there and then one or two here in the middle. For sure one right there, maybe one right there. I don't know, we'll try to evenly space those as much as we can uh, and hope they don't get in the way of our curtains while we're using those. I'll just kind of pull that down out of the way. I'm probably gonna have to move the lights. More than likely we'll put them underneath the shelf. But also yet to be seen. These are the little screws. They're really tiny, but it's more than enough to go through there. I'm just going to go ahead and pull these lights down right now. They're just Velcroed on there. Oof, they were on there good. to 
hold your mouth right while you're doing it. All right, those are definitely tight enough in there. So I've got one here that I've kind of opened up. And if you're looking flat along there, you see how this one bends down. We go ahead and stick that one up there. It's nice and flat, or I guess level-ish. So I'm gonna go through and remove all those, uh, flatten them out, and then we'll go from there. All right, those brackets are all on there. And they're relatively flat, if you can maybe tell, against the other window. Uh, but we need to pull these out. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that without the screw inside spinning. It's going to be very hard to lock the top in, I think. Come on, come out. Nope. All right, so I'm going to have to somehow get a screwdriver and hold the top and do the bottom at the same time. Let me see if I can get one of these other ones out. I don't think it's going to work. All right, well, we're up here on the roof. Uh, and if you guys can see right there, there's a little screw that goes through. That bolt is on the end of it, uh, except the ones I need to access, there's one under here, one under that bar, and then the one in the middle will be easy to get to. I'm gonna see if I can get these crusty old screws out of here and at least pull up on this enough that I can get this little guy in there and hold that screw somehow. All right, so I got this all undone. I used the socket on each end in order to lift this whole thing up. And then down here, these are what, it's really hard for you guys to see this. Uh, these little guys here, or what this stuff bolts down into, and I had to slide this one forward. And now maybe you can see there's a screw head right there. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna get it in that screw head, and then I'm gonna put a piece of tape over it, I think. Or maybe I just need to do it this way so it pushes against the ratchet uh, or the socket. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. All right, brackets on the roof are in, in three spots. Side brackets are up there. The trick with the screwdriver, I just taped that screwdriver down on each of those worked well. Uh, I'm gonna leave that all open up there uh, because these aren't super tight yet. So we'll see if I have to do some adjusting, but I think I need to cut this board down, uh, mark some, holes and kind of do a little bit of pre-drilling here all right uh, slight update I trimmed this board it took three inches off of it it fits a lot better and it's gonna allow uh, once I have it evened in here it will allow the front and rear curtains to easily go past it uh, one thing that uh, I did kind of change plans here here's the piece that I cut off the end uh, so if you can see down here maybe Zoom in. Does that help a little, a little bit? Uh, I'm leveling this off the window because the window is obviously the front window is level. If I take this, the goal is kind of do something like that, and that fits perfectly flush on this end. Uh, but as you move to the back, this topper isn't perfectly square on the side, it comes in a little bit, and I'd rather not try to like match that curve and trim this board here so. So what I'm gonna do, because when you get back to this other one here, let me see if I can show that to you, or if the camera just blows out. When you get back to this one, you have probably a quarter inch gap between there, and I could fill that uh, and do it this way. What I did was I went and picked up uh, quickly this strip of metal here. And I'm just gonna get what I need measured. And then on these areas, I can just screw it in here and I'll put a little bend into it and I'll bolt it to the back. Uh, this one will be straight. The back one will need a little bit of a curve, but also the plus side, although I will have the little bracket hanging down, I'll be able to put these 
little buttons back over the bolts. Uh, and this will, I think this will look kind of cool once we get her on there appropriately. three pieces that are roughly six inches. All right, can you see what we're doing here? Need to measure uh, down and put a hole right here. This is not level right now. It's come up quite a ways. But once that, I bring that up to the point where it's level, it'll be perfect. We'll just have a little strap like that. And these will just get a little angle backwards. Uh, so yeah, let's get that measurement quick. All right, so I've got all our Got these first holes drilled out. and just took the edges off, but I'll clean them up a little bit more. I've got these little quarter inch by, it looks probably quarter inch by quarter uh, bolts. We'll see if these will fit. Just gonna screw that through that hole. There we go. I'll probably put washer on there and, and all that stuff, but we're just mocking it up right now. And then, I set this on here, because I'm, I'm level down here. Level enough. If I set this on here, I should just level that out. Of course, I left my center punch in the truck or in the garage to mark all my holes. But I'm gonna get the rest of these attached. Uh, I'll center punch these, drill another hole, pre-drill a hole in here, and we'll use the same kind of screws we used under here to attach this side. We're dang there, we're dang near there. All right, I've got all these drilled out. Uh, and uh, I guess I want to tell you, if you're going to do this, make sure you number these since your lengths are going to be different uh, between your holes going from the front to the back. So if you see here, this is towards the cab and this is towards the back. You can see how the there's different lengths because of the way the roof slopes, etc. cetera. Uh, and then I don't know how well you guys will be able to tell, but I also countersunk those so that when I run the screws into the wood there, that will sit relatively flush. I could probably open that up just a hair more, but it'll be all right. But, all right, let's get these put up there. Number dos, number uno. And I'm gonna, like I said, uh, I'm gonna clean these up and like clean the edges up and whatnot. But I'm trying to put this video out today. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. This is of course, Everything always takes longer than you expect. Like I said, I've got to do just a little bit of trimming. That looks pretty good to me compared to where I'm at everywhere else. All right, let's get the rest of these up there. All right, you guys probably can't really, you might be able to see, but it took just a little bit of bending to get that to uh, want to sit right on here and flush and everything. So, where's my other bolt at? There we go. Tight-ish. Uh, 
I'm using these little tiny little brackets to give me a 90. If they're close enough. got our shelf up I'm gonna scribe a line or get a marker and mark the back of these and we'll go ahead and cut that off and pray around these edges off on on both sides we'll round them a little bit top and bottom uh, this one might just need a hair bend put into it but it looks all right but it's all good I don't have the bolts on the back of these or anything but uh, yeah all right I have got the uh, I got the brackets all finished up. They're all sanded and hanging out over there uh, or looking good enough. I pulled the board down. I'm going to go ahead and just hit this with a real quick sand. And then we're going to use some of this wood stain on there really quickly. Uh, it's a fast dry. shouldn't take. Yeah, it says dries in one hour. So uh, we're just going to give it one quick coat of this with a paper towel and call it call that good. Not sure what grit this is, but that's what we're using. Just gonna take all these edges off. Right. I don't have a great place to do this uh, set up in here anymore. But I've also never been that particular, especially when it comes to my own uh, projects like this. This is the professional, the most professional way you could possibly do it. Got brushes and everything over there, but it's not necessary. Not necessary. It'll go nicely with the bed color. That you guys can't see any of that there. It'll match nice. We'll give this a little while to dry up, and I'm going to give some thought into how I'm going to attach the bungee cords so that everything doesn't just fall off the shelf. Okay, it's had long enough to dry for me to be comfortable screwing around with it. Let's go ahead and get her mounted up. I've got an idea for how to do the uh, the rubber on here, but I feel like I'm going to have to go to the store, of course. So. All right, we are up there. It is solid. It ain't going anywhere. Um, kind of hard to see, but yeah. It looks, I mean, it's level with that window and this way it's level with the top of that window. Let's see if, how that looks. But I am going to get the top roof rack uh, screwed back down. Like I said, these, these bolts up in here are tight. I'm going to screw that roof rack back down and I need to run to the store uh, before we finish this up. But uh, that is the plus side because I know some of you guys probably want to hear the new exhaust that I've got done on the truck. For now, I'm just going to... Hardware store is close. We'll just set this junk down here. You don't need to put any of that away. Don't need to put that away. Uh, probably need a screwdriver. All right. So there's my exhaust tips. It's dual three inch. Um, I didn't do any kind of crazy tip on there, y'all. 
And if you get up under here, it's all welded together really nicely. And then And then coming back towards the center of the truck, you've got a nice MagnaFlow muffler. Once again, it's welded on. This is a like a cross flow, so it's straight through, but it goes in an X. So basically, this, along with that X pipe, means I kind of have a dual X. Uh, so we did leave it clamped there. Just so you have easier room to the transmission and whatnot, it's clamped up there also. But there's our exhaust setup. I'll go ahead and start this beast up. Ooh. Uh, I gotta take it back to Brock and have a little bit of the tuning gone over. And this is cold start, so it's gonna be a little bit loud, uh, but it quiets way down. you guys can tell but yeah it's way quieter in here it's warm today it got up 70 degrees can I see the shelf I can barely see the shelf in the mirror So needless to say, that's much more enjoyable than open headers. Uh, by the time we get back, it'll be warmed up nicely and should have calmed and quieted down outside. But All right, I just need to grab a couple of L brackets. All right, we've made it, made it back to my place. It's quieted down quite a bit. Here and now. Get a nice chop out of it, uh, but it's not overwhelming, not like before. And it's only got a, I don't know, maybe a hundred or so miles on it, honestly, since I did that. So it's going to burn in a little bit more, but. All right, well, let's get back to this thing. Let's see if it fell down, didn't fall down. big thing of bungee cord. It's a hundred feet of bungee cord. Of course, I don't have a knife in my pocket. And maybe a lighter to burn the ends. So on the ends, on this end, I think I'm gonna try to screw that in just like that from the top. And then we'll do the same thing down here. And we'll run that bungee cord through the holes. We'll run it and probably just wrap it around these for now. I thought about getting like eye bolts and we might end up doing that. Uh, but for now, we'll just wrap them and then go down and wrap it. Uh, but I need to get these screwed on, and of course, there's not going to be any way to do that without me unscrewing everything and taking the shelf off. Uh, but that'll be the last time. Alright, we're back up there. We've got our brackets on both ends. This is all screwed in. Let's run some uh, bungee. Fingers crossed I can do this quickly before my battery dies here. Yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna use the other like 97 feet of this for. We've got it now. Hopefully this doesn't just like go flying apart. All right, 
bungee cord. Honestly, I wasn't sure if you could even buy it like this, but uh, it's just got a little melted end. You should be able to just stick it through there. Almost. Oop, that's going to take a little bit of effort. And there we go. As well as you can possibly see it, we've got our bungees on here. I just wrapped them around, shoved them through the holes there, and they're tied on the back end. It goes all the way down to the other end. They're pretty tight. I could make them tighter, like I've got a ton of cord there, but now I can take like my cup. My cup can sit up there. Here's a lantern that I bought. So if you put a few different things up there, you know, I can stuff a t-shirt or whatever uh, if I change in the evening, but nice shelf. I mean, plenty of room. It looks really nice in my opinion. Looks kind of neat. Still undecided, might paint this stuff black to kind of match the rest of the metal that's in here. But for now, I think that looks cool. Yeah, nice shelf. And there are a couple of other things that I'm going to be able to do with this. One of the other things that I thought about that I can do with this is uh, I could mount some hooks and stuff on the bottom of there. Put a mount under there that will hold my tablet and swing out or whatever. And I could have the tablet right here instead of having it sit on the cooler like I usually do when I watch it. Uh, but it leaves me quite a bit of uh, opportunity up there. I have not decided what I'm going to do with the lights. I think I need to put the lights on the bottom. All right, I stuck the lights up there. Let's turn those on. Bam. And like I said, I can just shove this stuff up there wherever I'd like. Um, I do think, I don't know, undecided. I'll have to see what it looks like in the dark. Uh, but it would be nice if they were just below here, I think, and then you wouldn't have to worry about hitting the wires with whatever you're going to stick up there. But do I have clothes under the bed in here that I can maybe shove in there? Ooh. All right, a pair of shorts that I should probably take in the house and make sure get washed. But I was going to take if I was, took my shorts off or whatever uh, and change it into my pajama pajama pants. Boom. They can, shorts can just go up there for the time being, which also, yeah, I think that lighting needs to move down. I'm going to have to think about that and how I want to do the lights, but for now we are finished with this project. Uh, this of course took me multiple hours. It took me a lot longer than I expected it to, but projects always seem to go like that. I, it was one of those things, well, it would only take me two hours and I think we're like four hours into this but I had to go to the store and whatnot but it looks great I'm super satisfied with that I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out the video that I watched from off-grid backcountry adventures uh, he did his a little bit differently instead of using these metal straps on the sides here He did use uh, wood for all of it as far as I can tell and then he does have a lip right here that kind of goes around the bottom uh, But for what I need right now, I think that's gonna be fine uh, We'll just have to give it a road test and see how well it works out. He did it on both sides I'm cool with one side. I don't want it to be in my way over here or hit my head on it or anything when I lean back but yeah, I'm excited about that. It looks nice. It does look really nice. Looks good for my house kind of thing. Stoked. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's something a little bit different that I've, uh, don't see a lot of it being done. I don't see this happening a lot on people's rigs, but uh, all the hardware is there. So you're not screwing into anything on the shell itself. You're not modifying really anything on the shell. Uh, you're just using the screws and bolts that are already there to achieve what you need to achieve But I'm still gonna try to get this video out today. I think it's like four o'clock already uh, So it might not happen till seven, but we'll see so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it Stay tuned for the next adventure. We're gonna get the truck out and you guys will be able to hear the exhaust a little bit better uh, But yeah, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit